Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. Welcome to Post Review Friday. If you are new to my channel, uh, most Fridays of the year, I share with you a post review on a kit that I recently finished. I don't really know how Post Review Friday came to be. <laughs> I just seem to be posting post reviews. How many times can I say post? <laughs> I seemed to be sharing a lot of my post reviews on Friday, so it just became a thing, and now we have post review Friday. So in today's video, I will be talking to you all about this finish, which is my second finish for January. It is called Winter Cabin. It is actually from Dreamer Designs. It is from my first order with Dreamer Designs in 2020. This kit has been in my stash since 2020. Oh gosh, and I'm realizing that a couple of diamonds fell off, but we will talk about that in a second. Um, so way back in, I'm pretty sure it was Black Friday 2020, I placed my first order with Dreamer Designs. I picked up Confetti the Cat, which I finished, I think in 2021. I think that might've been my first Dreamer Designs. And then this was the other kit that I had picked up and I hadn't gotten around to it. It's been on my list the last couple of years to work on during the winter and I really wanted to make it a point to work on it in 2024. Uh, this kit was on my 24 kits for 2024 so I can cross that one off which is awesome. Um, this is a, I don't have, I did not fill out my log book for this one, dang it. I'll have to do that uh, after the fact, but I just finished this one, so let me get to. So here is last week's post review, and I started my little sticky note, and I never finished it. So I will update that after this video, but let's talk about it. So this is a 40 by 50. The artist is Anne-Marie Bone. It is a square drill. Now, this kit was way back when Dreamer Designs only sold square drills, which is wild to think about like I remember when they released their first round kit <laughs> and their round drills are my favorite so interesting how that worked out um but this kit is no longer available through Dreamer Designs but I still tend to share um kits that you can't get anymore and that is based off of like me asking you guys if you are okay with that the general consensus seems to be yes so this kit is discontinued let's just get into it. So I think it's pretty well known on my channel that Dreamer Design square drills are not my favorite and that stands true with this kit. Now these are the old Dreamer Design squares. I'm pretty sure that they've updated them once since this kit. Um, they weren't the best. There's a lot of gapping. There was a fair amount of trash and all in all, this was just a kit that I finished. It's not one that's going to live in my head. Um, it's not going to be a favorite of the year. It's just one that I've had for a long time that I really wanted to work through, and I'm glad that I was able to do that. So I started this kit on January 7th, and I finished it yesterday. Well, I'm filming this on Monday because I'm off of work. So I finished this on Sunday the 14th. So it took me a little bit longer than I was anticipating since it is such a small kit, but there was quite a bit of confetti at the bottom of this canvas. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop up a full length picture here so that you guys can see it. Um, there was quite a bit of confetti on the bottom half. The top half was quite color blocky, but if you guys can see down here where we have what I would imagine to be some like plants and flowers, um, this was very confetti heavy through here. Is there a thumbnail? Yes, kind of. Let me grab the box for this one, actually. So I believe there's a picture on the bottom. Trying to be better this year about centering things on my camera. <laughs> okay, so here is the picture for this one. So you can see that there's like like tall grass and it does kind of look like some flowers to me I'm not quite sure um that was pretty confetti heavy that area there sorry for the glare uh and like the reflections of the house I feel like there was quite a bit of confetti in that area but 
once we hit like past the house and up, that was pretty color blocky just because, you know, there are a few different colors in the sky, some different shades of pinks and purples, but you are mostly working in uh, vertical lines, which is great. So as far as the rendering for this kit, I think it's okay. I mean, given that this is a 40 by 50, when you look at it from a distance, you definitely see like the cabin, you can pick out the reflection of the cabin. The tree came out really nicely. I think the mountain back here came out quite well. This is supposed to be like a little island of like floating greenery. Maybe it's trees. I'm not quite sure. That just kind of looks like a bit muddy to me. But I think the general focus of the kit came out quite well. The biggest thing with this one was the drill quality and the poured glue. The poured glue on this one was nearly invisible. <laughs> now, I often wonder, like, kits that sit for a while, does that affect the poured glue? And I have worked on some kits that I've had, like Diamond Art Club kits that I've had. I've worked on them a few years later, and I haven't noticed too much of a change. So I don't really think that it's because this kit has been sitting. I do keep my kits in my house. Like, they're not in my basement or anything. They are in the spare bedroom of our house. Um, protected from the sun. Like they're not exposed to the elements, I guess you could say. Um, so I feel like they don't really have any factors like that that are affecting their quality the longer they sit. But I distinctly remember working on Confetti the Cat, which I picked up in the same order. And I had the same issue with the really, really slippery glue. Now, I think that that is something that Dreamer Designs has fixed over the years. I don't recall that being a problem with my most recent Dreamer Designs finish, which was in September of 2023, I believe. I don't remember having that same problem. So I think it was kind of more when they were first really starting out that that was a problem. But I did lose a few drills down here. We have two there and then a couple here. Um, I do work on a drafting table. So the edge of my canvas does hang over, but I am able to kind of tuck it up and under where the drawers sit. So it's not like this was just hanging and my legs were brushing up against it. So I think that this was probably a little bit of a, a poured glue issue versus a me issue. So now I'm thinking like, I need to go back and make sure, um, I need to check my progress photos and make sure that there were actually drills there because I'm second guessing myself, but I'm fairly certain that at one point there were drills. It looks like there were drills there, um, but whatever, I'll figure that out at a later date. Uh, that doesn't change the fact that I felt like the poured glue was very, very slippery and wasn't holding the drill the drills well. I did feel like as I was completing a section that I needed to be rolling over with my uh, diamond painting roller to make sure that the drills were being squished in to what glue was there. Um, my other issue, like I mentioned, was the drills. Um, however, I feel like I can't really put much weight on this part of the post review because this is an old kit. So the drills were not great. You can see that I had quite a bit of gapping. I just knocked my head on my camera mount. I apologize for that. Um, you can see a lot of gapping in this one towards the top here. Now, I do multi-place, so when I talk about gapping, you do have to keep that in mind um, because my, my placement isn't perfect just because I like to get kits done at somewhat of a decent speed. <laughs> now, if I'm giving it as a gift or if I'm hanging it in my house, I am much more particular, but this was really just... I was in it for the vibes. I knew it wasn't going to be like a perfect finish. I knew it wasn't going to be one that I would display or anything like that, but I still enjoyed working on it. I don't want it to seem like I just wanted to finish it so it was out of my stash. That's kind of the ultimate goal with me for diamond painting. <laughs> it's to make sure that I am completing my stash, but I really just wanted to work on this one. It's been on my list for a few years and I'm happy that I was finally able to get to it. So all in all, it was it was a good finish. It was it was fine. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. It won't be super remem rememberable. <laughs> super memorable oh gosh I can't say it memorable <laughs> but um, I did enjoy working on it I did really like the color palette working with these pretty pinks and purples is always fun for me 
and I was impressed with the rendering for this size. So I feel like that's a pretty decent post review. Um, nothing super egregious <laughs> to say, um, but let's talk about the drills. So as far as the drills, I had plenty of every color. If you see empty containers here, it's because a color would have stretched into a second um, container. Now we did kit this one up together. I think it was two Mondays ago would have been the kit up for this one. Um, I will say that I felt like I didn't have a lot of drills left over just from my experience with other Dreamer Designs kits. So for this 210, I had two full containers and this is all I have left. Now, is that upsetting? No. I don't necessarily love when I have a crazy amount of extra leftover drills because I feel like it's kind of wasteful. Um, obviously, I want to have enough to complete a kit if I were to have a bunch of trash. Um, I feel like this is a good amount, it's just something that I wanted to mention. Um, and then as far as the drill quality, like I said, it wasn't great. I did have a lot of drills with extra tabs on them. I had quite a few drills that were stuck together. Towards the end, I just stopped pulling trash out of my drill tray. I was just working around it. Um, so I don't know if this is like the clearest representation of trash, but this is definitely some that I pulled while I was working on this one. So we have some with holes on the top. We have some that are stuck together, uh, little pieces, extra pieces on the sides. But for a 40 by 50, I don't feel like this is too bad. Um, if you watch my post reviews or if you're new, uh, for me, when I have a real problem with trash drills is when I run out of a color. If I have a bunch of trash drills, but I have plenty to replace them, I'm not too worried about it. When I have a bunch of trash drills, but then I run out of that color, that is not my favorite. So all in all, the drills were fine. I had plenty of every color. There was only one AB in this kit, which I thought was fine since it is so small. It is the white AB. And that one wasn't used very much. There is some on the roof here where the snow has fallen. There's also some sprinkled throughout this tree. Um, I can feel a drill popping up. Some, some sprinkled on the branches of the tree. There's also some throughout the water here, I guess kind of showing like icy spots maybe. And then there are a couple on the mountain and we have one little group up here in the sky. So that is the kit. Um, like I mentioned before, a fine finish, not something that I'm going to be talking about nonstop, but something that was fun to work on. I'm glad I completed it. It was on my 24 kits for 2024, so that's a bit of an accomplishment. Um, I'll go ahead and pop up another full length image for you guys here, and then I'm going to show you all my accessories for this kit. I actually used one of my favorite pens in my collection, so I'm excited to to share that one. Let me pull everything out. Oops, my tray stopper. Okay, so for my tray, I used this beautiful colorway from JH Envision Labs. I've had this tray for quite a while. JH Envision Labs was one of my first, actually I think it was my first uh, specialty tray shop, so. It's fun to get into these. They're not my favorite anymore, but they are still decent trays. They're good to work with. I always pick this tray when I use this pen because I think the uh, color match is pretty close. This is one of my favorite pens in my collection. It is from O'Brien Custom Turning and it has everlasting tips in both ends. Isn't it just so beautiful? Oh, I love this one so much. I felt like the like pinky shift, the purpley shift, and there's like a the little bit of blue. I thought it went really well with the colors in this kit. I did struggle a bit with a cover minder, but I saw this one and I thought the colors went, and it's like, you know, wintery, we got a little penguin. So it's this really cute pink penguin with some blue earmuffs. This is from Nika's Designs. I cannot remember the name of the clay artist, but I will try to find their Instagram. I think I follow them. So I'll try to find their Instagram and link it down below. I honestly don't even know if Nika's Designs is still in business. Um, I have not purchased from them in 
quite a while. Uh, not for any particular reason. I just am very full on my cover minder boards. So I've really been limiting my cover minder purchases. But how stinking cute is that? I thought it was a cute, a cute little match. For my putty, I that is Steven yelling at his video game. I do apologize. Uh, for my putty, I used this little sampler from Putty Ella Mud. This is in the scent Cozy. I just thought it was appropriate. And then I had a really hard time choosing some washi tape. So I went for a neutral winter theme with some snowmen and some snowflakes. So not the best match, but I've never used this tape. So if not now, when, right? So there we go. Those are my accessories, my thoughts on this kit. Um, all in all, just to kind of wrap it up, I am glad I worked on it. I'm glad I can count it as a finish for this year and uh, I can cross it off my 24 kits for 2024. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's post review. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I hope everybody has a great weekend and I will see you all on Monday. Bye!